12 of the richest LGBTQ people in the world. David Jeffen, the co-founder of DreamWorks, is worth $9.9 billion, according to Forbes. Starting as a Hollywood talent agent, Jeffen made the foundation of his fortune when he created record labels Asylum Records, Jeffen Records, and DGC Records. In 1994, he created the DreamWorks film studio with Steven Spielberg and Jeffrey Katzenberg. Jeffen also has a large real estate portfolio and a $2 billion art collection, according to Business Insider. In 2007, Out Magazine called Jeffen the most powerful gay man in the country. Fashion designer Giorgio Armani's fortune is about $8.1 billion. Armani began his career in the military after leaving medical school. In the 70 seconds, he started designing menswear clothing, but his career really took off when he started designing for Richard Gere in 1980. Since then, Armani's brand has expanded into an empire, which includes accessories, interior design, and hotels. The famously private designer spoke about his sexuality in a 2000 interview with Vanity Fair, saying, I have had women in my life, and sometimes men. PayPal's co-founder Peter Thiel is worth $5 billion, according to Forbes. In 1999, Thiel co-founded PayPal, which was meant to be a simple way to exchange money via devices. He was CEO of the company up until eBay acquired PayPal, and his stake in the company was said to be worth $55 million. Thiel was also an early investor of Facebook, and he founded a data analytics company, Palantir, which is valued at $20 billion, according to Forbes. He now lives with his husband, Matt Danzison, in Los Angeles. John Stryker is an heir to a medical equipment company. Forbes reports his net worth at $4.3 billion. Stryker's grandfather founded Stryker Corp., which is a medical supply company that sold $14.9 billion in equipment in 2019, according to Forbes. One of the heirs to the family fortune, Stryker is a philanthropist, donating large sums of his money to charities and scholarships. So far, he has given away $585 million. Stryker also founded the Arcus Foundation, which fights for LGBTQ rights and ape conservation. Norwegian businessman Stein Erik Hagen is worth $2.7 billion, according to Forbes. Hagen founded the supermarket chain Remy with his father in the 1970s and is a major shareholder of the consumer goods conglomerate Orkla. He was Norway's seventh wealthiest person in 2020, according to Norwegian business magazine Capital. Hagen, who is bisexual, publicly came out on one of Norway's biggest chat shows, Skavon, in 2015, saying he only came to understand his sexuality well into adulthood, the local reported. Jennifer Pritzker, a hotel heiress, is the only openly transgender billionaire in the world. A former lieutenant in the army, Pritzker inherited part of the Hyatt Hotel fortune, giving her a net worth of $2 billion, according to Forbes. She came out as transgender in 2013 without much fanfare, but she made headlines in 2017 when President Trump announced a ban on transgender people serving in the military. Before this, Pritzker supported Trump and donated large sums to his campaign, but the ban prompted her to support Biden in his bid for the presidency. Fashion designer Domenico Dolce is worth $1.6 billion. After meeting in a club, Dolce and Stefano Gabbana started a fashion brand together in 1985. The company's signature animal print made waves at fashion events and even caught the attention of Madonna, solidifying Dolce and Gabbana's place in fashion history. His business partner Stefano Gabbana is also worth $1.6 billion. Dolce and Gabbana ended their personal relationship in 2003 but still own the company and designed together. In 2020, Apple CEO Tim Cook officially became a billionaire. Cook became CEO of Apple in 2011 after the death of its founder, Steve Jobs. A decade later, the company is nearing a market value of nearly $2 trillion, making Cook a billionaire. He is now worth $1.3 billion, according to Forbes. Despite his billionaire status, he lives in a relatively modest home in Palo Alto. He came out as gay in 2014. Fashion designer Michael Kors used to be worth $1 billion, but today, his fortune is estimated to be $600 million. Kors began his fashion design company in his mother's basement in the 80 seconds and turned it into an empire. In 2011, he took the company public when it was valued at $3.5 billion. In 2004, he became a superstar when he became a judge on Project Runway. Ten years later, Kors became a billionaire. Today, his fortune is a bit smaller, but he calls downtown New York City home with his husband, Lance Lapierre. Elton John has been in the music industry for decades, earning a fortune that's reportedly near $500 million. John began his music career in England and became known for his flamboyant and outrageous costumes. Quickly, he became a cultural phenomenon, launching his decade-spanning career. He still tours today and has sold over 300 million records, according to The Times. Plus, John has been with his partner, David Furnish, for nearly three decades. 
Ellen DeGeneres' net worth is estimated at $370 million, according to Forbes. DeGeneres began her career as a stand-up comedian and eventually landed a successful sitcom titled Ellen in the late 90 seconds. During that time, she came out as a lesbian, and she was blacklisted from Hollywood. In 2003, she made her return as a daytime talk show host, although the show will end after its 19th season airs in 2022.